Uh, today I'm going to do kind of a little recap of some e.l.f. products that I bought. I think about a month ago, maybe a little bit longer, I'm not sure, month let's say month, um, they had a, a sale where everything was 50% off. And why am I so low? Can I maybe come down a little bit? Come down. I have a new tripod. <sighs> Sorry, guys. So anyway, they were having a 50% off sale and I was like, hey, let's order some stuff because that's really the only time I order stuff from e.l.f. because um, even with their great year round pricing um it's still really expensive to have things shipped here to canada so i always wait for the 50 percent off sale and then i don't really mind paying that extra eight dollars shipping so it costs around 14 dollars to have things shipped here i've never had, I've had a lot of people ask me over the years like what kind of experience i've had with shipping from elf and as far as like paying extra duties at the border and really i feel like if you keep things if you keep your package between $20 and $30, I've never had to pay um, duty. So even break up your order to avoid having to pay that. Um, I find if it's like over like $25, you're kind of, you might get dinged for extra duty, but if you keep things around $20 and if you do that during the 40 or the 50% off sale, that's like 40 bucks worth of stuff. So that's quite a bit. And then it rings in at like 20 bucks. So sometimes I'll break up my order into two or three, depending on how crazy I am. Although it's been a long time since I've been that nuts. So I just picked up a few things and I just wanted to um, show you what they are and what I thought of them. I don't know why I have to talk like this. Okay, so these first things, I'm going to start with eye products because usually I start with face products. But today let's talk about eyes. Um, what I have here is the... I don't even know what this is called, but the color is Blushing Rose, and it's a cream eyeshadow, and they're matte. So they're cream matte eyeshadows. They're in a little doe foot applicator, and this, I said, was in Blushing Rose. So it's a really beautiful rose, like rosy brown shade. Um, this is really nice. So being e.l.f., you do have to work with them a little bit because you can see here when you blend them away, they basically blend away to nothing, which gives you just a really nice subtle wash of color. Make sure you put some primer down on those eyelids just to kind of help the intensity because if you put them on like a bare eyelid, they basically like wipe away to nothing. But when you build them, they build really nice. I like the fact that they're matte. So far, this is the only color that I've liked. There was another one called Wheat, I think, that was, or Linen, that was just like really kind of a weird nude yellow shade and it did not suit me at all. But this one I really like and I like the fact that it's matte. At the opposite end of the spectrum is their Molten Liquid Eyeshadow and I have the shade Rose Gold, which on the center of the eyelid, look again, it's a little doe foot applicator center of the eyelid just gives you like a little you know ping um, when you're over 40 you don't want too much glitter here because it will this will I don't mind shimmer I love shimmer I love sheen I don't care how old I am but something that's really kind of liquid and metallic like this will um, can kind of accentuate any kind of lines you have or like crepiness but just to show you what it looks like it's so like look at the shine on that if you were inclined to you could put that all over your lid and it's just so pretty look at the shine on that this is rose gold it's really pretty um don't layer it too much because then it kind of cracks but you know it kind of gives you the same vibes as those stila liquid metallic eyeshadows whatever they're called same kind of vibe three bucks <clears throat> Let's do another eyeshadow. These are new-ish. Um, I got these off the What's New site, uh, section of the website. And these are just little eyeshadow duos. And this one is in Pink pink Pal. So it's just a duo. And you've got this shade over here, which is like a kind of a champagne-y pink. It's almost like um, Max All That Glitters. Nah, All That Glitters Naked Lunch kind of hybrid. You can see it there got a nice can you I don't know if you can see it can you no I've got so many like products on this hand no very subtle and then on the other side it's got like a matte brown which you will be able to see 
this is a fabulous color so basically I put the brown in the crease and kind of on the outer corner and then I take the pink all over the lid so you can see the shades here very nice very complimentary very um, subtle like they're not to say that they're not pigmented they are very nice and pigmented but they're a little bit softer so they're not so strong and sometimes you want that you know sometimes you don't want to be like full on and you just need something that gets the job done um, and like say you know you're not that experienced or you are a little bit more conservative or whatever this is really good and it's basically I mean you just throw that in your purse and what else do you need right so very nice I really like that so far there hasn't really been anything that I don't like except for now uh, this is the elf hydrating face primer and I wanted to like this a lot ugh, Because I'm always on the lookout for hydrating facial primers that will hydrate my skin woo, And help my makeup last longer because usually I find hydrating face primers are basically moisturizers um, But this is actually uh, Not my favorite first of all. Can we talk about? products with these plastic lids and how they always get cracks in them. They're like stress wet. I don't know why that happens. Anyway, um, I like the fact that it's in a pump. I think if you had normal skin, you might like this more. It is hydrating. It's like a serum. It kind of feels like a serum, but there is dimethicone in here. That old man is watching me. There's an elderly gentleman that lives across the street and he stands on his porch and watches me make my videos. And it's so weird although he's probably wondering what is that strange woman doing across the street anyway um this has got dimethicone in it so it's um it's like one of those regular kind of primers but it i'm all distracted now because of that man across the street lovely couple they're a little elderly um dutch couple and they're very lovely but it's so really please stop standing there okay he's gone good Whew. Okay, so as I was saying, this does feel more moisturizing than, let's say, you know, the Professional um, from Benefit. It does feel a little bit more hydrating. It's not hydrating enough, and unfortunately, it broke me out. So that's a no-go, but I would say try it um, to see if you like it, because it does have a really nice feel to it. I really loved is, or love, is this um, elf pencil brush. I love elf makeup brushes. I always get their studio line. I will say the quality was better about five years ago um, And what they've done now is they've got like their studio line and then they brought like more of a deluxe studio Line out and then they have ones where you buy them separately um, Those are very nice, but like they're kind of like just mid-range studio line brushes that um, they had like the 11 piece set that you could get for $35. The quality of those brushes has gone downhill. Like I still have most of my brushes from that original kit and they're still going strong, but I've supplemented them with single brushes. Like I bought another blush brush, I bought another powder brush and they're just not the same. Um, I don't know what it is, but they're just not as good as they were, but they're still quite good. They're nice and soft. They are synthetic, um, cruelty free, and they're just, you know, like they're very well priced. Uh, this is the pencil brush from their, uh, I can't remember what range this is from. I'll put the information down in the, um, in the information bar and links to what I can. Uh, so this is like one of their newer ranges and I've always, I haven't, this is my first pencil brush. I've had like smudger brushes before and I had the little Eco Tools like smudger brush set, but they were bigger. Um, I just, I love the idea of a little pencil brush to get in underneath here and to smudge out liner on the upper lash line. And I think this was $3, it may have been $6, but then I got the 50% off. So great, great brush. Then I also picked up this little package of brush clean cleanser wipes and they're basically like the size the feel of little wet naps like they're more um, Spongy than like they're like look see it's, this one is used. That's why it's dirty, but they're quite dry so 
I feel like they would dry out really fast, but they do work quite well. Um, I would like to keep them, you know, for traveling because then you'd have to take like your brush cleaner and then you can just kind of take one brush and clean it in between colors. And it's got a little bit more of an oily texture to it than a wet texture. So it does clean the brushes quite well. Um, yeah, I mean, it was like 10 of these for three bucks. If you travel a lot, I would recommend them, but I don't think that they're the greatest for um, everyday use. And to be honest with you, they're quite small and I don't think that they would handle like a bigger, like blush brush or whatever but for little eyeshadow brushes they're perfect okay last product is something that I've been trying to get my hands on for the longest time this is the aqua blush bronzer duo in uh, pink beige so this is the kind of um, it's like water infused so it's it's like a putty texture and it's one color on one side, some bronzer on one side, and then a blush on the other side. And I think I have like the fairest shade. So it feels like Play-Doh. It's really weird. And it is nice and I like, I mean, I like a cream product. So I really like cream blushes and I really like cream, um, you know, contour and cream bronzer. I'm trying to find more um, products like that. Um, this just kind of misses the mark for me. I've been using it for a good month now and I'm pretty much using it every day. And I like the bronzer. The blush is just so, can you see like the, it's, it's a peach shade, but like that is way more intense than it actually shows up on the skin. And when I'm looking at it, I can barely see it on my skin. And I just feel like, I'm gonna swatch these for you. I just feel like the, blon the bronzer, the bronzer and the blush are basically too similar in tone. Do you see how they're both like kind of a peachy golden tone? Once they're on, they swatch really nice, they look really nice here, but then once they're on and they actually blend out, they just, the blush blends too much into the bronzer and if you're not careful you end up looking really muddy um, yeah so it's not I don't know like I don't even know what to say about it I like it I've been using it quite a bit but it's just like as the more I use it the less impressed I am with it when I first put it on I was like wow I love it I just I love the fact that it's cream and blah 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 but now I just feel like when they blend together it's like I said it's just kind of muddy and there's not really any definition there and they blend into one and yeah whatever but I like the you know the packaging is really nice and blah, blah. And I've used the powder version and I, I think I prefer it and that's basically all I want to say on that so there you have it those are the products that I've picked up recently um, from elf um, just to do kind of a roundup I would definitely say you can pick these products up um, here in Canada at, you know, like the drugstore where they sell e.l.f., this tends to be part of the range of products that they have available. So the Molten Liquid Eyeshadow is really nice, and then the Matte Cream Eyeshadows are nice. I liked this little duo. I think most people would find it a little bit too wimpy. Kind of reminds me of Wet n Wild as far as quality-wise goes. Um, and... This didn't work for me, but I can see it working for you if you have, you know, not super dry skin. Um, so I would recommend trying it anyway. And I think that's it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Get the pencil brush. It's fabulous. The brush cleansers, if you travel a lot and don't want to take a whole bunch of different, you know, like you'd like to be able to um, switch you know, like maybe take one or two eye brushes and just kind of clean them in between. I would recommend those. And the cream blonde, bronzer, I keep calling it bronzer, the cream bronzer, I don't know. You might want to give it a try. The thing with e.l.f. is everything's so inexpensive, it doesn't hurt to try, right? Uh, but that was just my experience with those products. And there you go. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.